Diago not working, Senator Abaribe. The Senator representing Abia South Senatorial District, Eyinaya Abaribe, has said that it remains unknown those committing killings in the Southeast. The lawmaker who was reacting to the recent killing of Dr. Chike Akunyili, husband to late Dora Akunyili, a former Director General of the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAPTA, also called on security agencies to carry out serious investigation into what is happening in the region and stop pointing accusing fingers to groups and individuals. The Abiyabon lawmaker further suggested that some people may be of the feeling that they should turn Anambra state into a theater of murder assassination in order to create the impression that the state is unsafe for voters to come out to cast their votes during the forthcoming governorship election. Haperibe spoke to the journalist immediately after a human rights lecture organized by the Human Rights Writer Association of Nigeria, Rewa, with theme Nigerian School Children Insecurity and Human Rights held in Abuja. Let us say that what is going on in the Southeast is something that we cannot just comprehend properly, Senator Abaribe said. People in the Southeast have never been violent and we are not murderers. And part of the confusion is that we don't know who is committing these crimes. We know that there is an election coming, in, I think, in 35 days. And the feeling is that they should turn the state into a theater of murder. Assassination may be to create the impression that it is unsafe, that nobody should come out and vote. And we are calling on the security agency that this is the time they should actually do a serious investigation into this. Drawing conclusion saying it is that it is this group or that group. This person or that person does not help anybody. That is why the motion that was brought by Senator Ekwinife today, she also urged the governors of the Southeast and security heads to put heads together and find why this is happening. We are also calling on the public, please, if you have any information, let the security agency know. We just cannot continue like this. We suffered the devastation of a civil war, then we build up ourselves. We can't afford to have a self-inflicted devastation again where nobody comes to the Southeast anymore because of fear. We have never killed anyone because of election. We are not seeing the type of intelligence gathering that we saw in those days that the police and other agencies used to get to the bottom of issue. But I do not believe that it is so. I have absolute faith in DSS and police to get to the root of everything that is happening. I urge them to go ahead. Let us know why these things are happening. He stated, speaking on Ibube Agu, a regional security outfit said to be to have been set up by governors in the region. Abaribe added, the governor told us that they have set up an outfit that will help complement the police and other security outfit are doing. But we haven't seen any practical demonstration of that thing they've set up. Most people in Southeast are wondering why you will mention Ebu Behagu and those killings are going out in the Southeast and we have not heard that they have held or brought someone to book or handed them over to the police. Yeah. yeah, Senator Baribe is simply asking the DSS and the police to fish out the criminals behind the killing in the South East. There's, there's going to be an election in less than 35 days in a number of states. And they have turned that state into theater of murder, assassination. Maybe I think they are trying to create an impression, like you said. So no one will be able to come out and vote. Now let me just go and read some of the comments. Someone said, Abaribe, keep fraternizing with IPOB with the feeling that you are great. Just imagine how criminals ail you on social media as a warrior. Friends, the federal government has signed Abaribe as a negotiator to negotiate with IPOB over Biafra habitation. 
but Abba will be rejected the offer. Said I will be only wanted Biafra. He's only fighting for Biafra and he's fighting on behalf of the land the Canada was arrested. If he was associating with IPOB then I guess that is what our president is doing with all these bandits. All these bandits are killing people and abducting people up and down. Our president has not been doing anything concerning that. So if Senator Abaribe is fraternizing with the IPOB, I guess the president is doing the same thing with the bandits. So this one said. Mr. Abaribe, you need to have a glance at the piece. Some greedy and selfish set of people in the north who are not happy with previous governments created the insecurity in the north to achieve their goals. Now they achieve their goals but find it extremely difficult to stop the evil. Now the same strategy is trying to play out in the south region. The monster created by the politicians in the country is now killing both the common and the elite alike. When will you leave? When will you evil and a greedy set of politicians allow us to leave? Honestly, I agree with this person. Every single one of our politicians are greedy and selfish. Yeah, they are greedy and selfish. All they know is just to embezzle money and just, yeah, they are selfish. They achieve their goals and people are left to bear the consequences. That is what they do. Let me read another comment. Someone said, Instead of you to order your boys to stop killing and destruction going on, you are busy blowing grammars. Very soon, your boys turn against you the moment you don't support. I guess this person did not read. You don't read the news, have you? Which one is blowing grammar up and down? This person did not read the news at all. Someone said the Bubiago was formed to confuse Nigerians as if the instant government have the love of SE in the heart. I don't understand. The threat by IPOB that there will be no election in the South is indicative of the fact that they must have and in the killing and mayhem in the south. And then let the security investigate and come up with a clean evidence that IPOB is, is part of those killings and mayhem in the southeast. Because you can't just point fingers. You can't just keep pointing fingers. We, we need to come up with an evidence that it is truly them that are into this. Let me know what you think about this, guys, in the comment section. Thank you.